This looks like an average pitcher with water in it. But sometimes looks can be a little bit deceiving. This is a copper pitcher of water. And what copper does to water and almost anything else it touches is incredible. And you're gonna find out all about it on the next episode of I Did Not Know That. I did not know that. This episode, Copper, the Super Germ Killer. Recently, there was a study at the University of Southampton regarding copper. They placed 10 million cells of drug-resistant staph bacteria on a piece of stainless steel and 10 million cells on copper. Two minutes later, there was no change to the cells on the stainless steel. But the cells on the copper already showed signs of dying off. Six minutes later, the bacteria was still alive and thriving on the stainless steel. And as you can see, most of the bacteria on the copper is now dead. Nine minutes later, there's no change on the stainless steel and they could live there for days and even weeks. But after only nine minutes on copper, all the bacteria is dead. What do you know about copper? Until recently, you were probably like me. Not much. Here's a short history lesson. Copper is thought to be one of the first metals man began working with about 6,000 years ago. It was used to make tubes that carry water, to make mirrors, razors, weights and balances, and many other things. But it didn't take long for people to realize it had other uses. The Egyptians discovered it sterilized water and healed wounds. In the first century, doctors began mixing copper oxide in honey to kill intestinal worms. In more modern times, it was used to treat people in the late 1800s for cholera when they noticed that copper workers were immune to that disease. It's also been used to treat dysentery and even tuberculosis. And a recent study showed that copper can even kill E. coli. Over 99.9% .9 of E. coli microbes were killed after just one to two hours of sitting on copper. Super Copper. Copper also has the incredible ability to keep water free from contaminants and parasites. After six to eight hours in a copper pitcher, all bacteria in that water is dead. How does copper have this amazing ability to do all these things? Well, science isn't even exactly sure. But they think that copper's electrically charged molecules kill these dangerous viruses by destroying their DNA. One theory is that they rupture the cell membrane wall that causes the bacteria to leak out its essential nutrients. Take that, super bug. It's estimated that 1.7 million people a year walk into a hospital and then walk out with a hospital-acquired infection. These infections kill almost 100,000 Americans a year. It's hard to understand why this wasn't tried earlier, but Selly Oak Hospital in Birmingham, England did an eight-month trial with copper. In one ward, they replaced water taps, door handles, sink fittings, light switches, and more with copper. After eight months, they found that germs and bacteria were reduced by more than 90%. Installing copper in just 10% of surfaces in an ICU could cut hospital-acquired infections by 58%. Copper is also a vital nutrient for humans. Together with iron, it allows your body to form red blood cells. It also helps maintain healthy bones, blood vessels, nerves, and your immune system. An interesting study was done in which participants used copper oxide infused pillowcases for four to eight weeks, while another group did not. In all studies, those who used the copper infused pillowcases showed a statistically significant high reduction of wrinkles and crow feet lines. I'm going to give you a second to look away right now if the sight of athlete's foot bothers you. Okay, here we go. In another study, 56 subjects who suffered from chronic or severe athlete's foot infections used copper-infused socks for at least 8 hours a day. Within 8 to 12 days of use, there was either a significant improvement or a complete healing of the condition. 
simply incredible. I think all hospitals should switch over from stainless steel to copper, don't you? As you saw at the beginning of this video, um, we're using a, a copper pitcher in our, in our house right now uh, that will kill all germs and bacteria. And another thing I'm doing is I went down to the hardware store, got a little disc of copper and I put it in my pocket. And that way if I'm ever in a situation where I feel, well, there's a lot of germs or it's a little bit unsanitary and I can't go wash my hands, I can put this in, in my hands and I can rub it a little bit and that'll kill all the germs on my hands. So I hope you enjoyed this this uh, video uh, of I did not know that and I appreciate it if you would subscribe just hit that little button down below there and like this and tell your friends and share it all right we'll see you next time